Uh, all right, folks, time to do my picks for uh, UFC 196, McGregor versus Diaz. Obviously, uh, Dos Santos uh, took a took an injury, so he's sitting this one out. Probably the biggest uh, show we're going to have, uh, probably until UFC 200. We've got a very interesting matchup. Conor McGregor doing something I haven't really seen a modern UFC fighter do in a long, long time. Dude, moving up two weight classes to take on Nate Diaz. So, of course, lots of turd talking in this one. Uh, should be a just a stand, bang up, slug fest. So, exactly the kind of fight you want to see in the year 2016. All right, so just looking at the, the data here, I'm going to try to be a little stats driven on this one. Uh, Conor McGregor, 19 and 2, 19 and 10 record for Diaz. Uh, average fight time, McGregor, about 5.5 minutes. Diaz, about 10 minutes. Uh, there's a, ooh, a 3 inch height advantage for Diaz. Uh, two inch reach advantage for Diaz, both guys southpaws, uh, McGregor is the younger fighter. Uh, strikes landed per minute, 5.53 favors McGregor. Uh, striking accuracy, dead evening. Uh, strikes absorbed per minute, slight tilt towards McGregor. Uh, defense favors McGregor. Uh, takedowns per fight, uh, 1.92 per 15 minutes for McGregor. 1.21 for Diaz. Takedown accuracy 83% for McGregor, only 30% for Diaz. Takedown defense 66% for McGregor, 44% for Diaz. And uh, the big one here for Diaz, he's got about 1.5 submissions per 15 minutes. So, uh, looking at that, this is not going to be a technical fight. This is not going to be a, a wrestling match. We're not going to see any submissions. We're going to see these two guys go out there and we're going to see them bang. And uh, it's pretty obvious what's going to happen here. Uh, Diaz is going to try to hit him early. Megger's going to try to hit him early. So this one, very rarely do you see a fight like this where it comes down to one variable. And the variable for this fight, speed. And uh, I've seen Nate Diaz fight. I've seen Conor McGregor fight. McGregor's faster. These guys get into an arms race. They start throwing bombs. It's all about who lands first. And I think it's uh, pretty much within reason to say that if that comes to pass, McGregor's going to be the person who lands the bomb first. So uh, I see this first round knockout McGregor. Don't know really what else to expect. I mean, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. It's an evidence-based practice. Kind of go with McGregor. All right, Holly Holm versus Misha Tate. I actually think Misha Tate actually stands up pretty well to Holly Holm compared to Ronda Rousey. Uh, Holm undefeated, 17 fabric for Tate. Uh, average five time, pretty much the same. Uh, two inch height advantage for home. Uh, one inch, oh, actually a four inch height advantage, a reach advantage for home. Uh, home southpaw Tate's orthodox, uh, uh, orthodox boxer, not Jewish. Get that out there. And Holly Holmes actually five years older. Strikes landed per minute, four per minute uh, for home, only two for Tate. Uh, striking accuracy favors Tate 43 to 33%. Strikes absorbed per minute, 2.31 for home, 2.53 for Tate. Uh, defense, 70% for home, 51% for Tate. Uh, takedowns per fight, huge. Tate, 2.31 per fight, and only 0.83 for home. Takedown accuracy, though, and takedown defense for home, 100%. If, if home shoots on you, you're going down. If you try to take her down, it's not happening. And of course, 1.9 submission attempt per fight for Tate. Now this one's gonna be interesting. I think Holmes gonna have a harder time in this fight than she did against Ronda Rousey, which is weird. And I think Tate pretty much learned the lesson that you can't go in there and just try to, you know, bang, bang, bang with uh, Home because she's just too technical. She's got the power, she can grind you down. So I think Tate would be wise to at least try to get the wrestling game going early. But I just don't see her making much progress. Now, I think she might be able to stifle home for a round. She might be able to drag it out for two rounds. But at the end of the day, we saw that home deal with Rousey. And obviously, Tate is no Rousey. Tate's going to play a smart fight. She's going to play a conservative fight. But eventually, she's got to trade eventually. And when it happens, you know, I really don't see this fight going any way other than exactly how Holly Holm wants it. I've got her winning by a third round TKO. All right, rest of the main events, or not main event, main card. Why do I always say that? Now we got Gian Volante taking on Ilar Latifa. Latifa. Oh wow, his name's Latifa. So we got King Latifa going on here. Uh, not really all that familiar. These guys look at their stats real quick. Uh, four team six record for Volante. Twelve and four record with one no contest for Latifa. 
uh, 9.53 average five time for Volante. Only 3.56 minutes for Latifa, so his fights don't really last that long. Huge, huge height advantage, 6.3, uh, six foot three for Volante. Uh, Latifa's only 5'10. Uh, three inch reach advantage for Volante. Both the guys orthodox. About a two year age difference with uh, Volante being the older fighter. Strikes landed per minute. 4.09 for Volante, 1.91 for Latifa. Uh, Latifa's only landing 27% of his shots, 48% shots for Volante by comparison. Volante is also eating a lot. He's eating 5.7 significant strikes per minute. Uh, Latifa's only 4.12. My God, look at these stats. This is going to be like the most punchy like show ever. There's going to be knockouts everywhere. 57% uh, defense for uh, Volante and 46% for Latifa. Uh, takedown average, slight advantage for Latifa. Obvious advantage uh, in terms of takedown accuracy for Latifa is just 25%. Uh, takedown defense, 89% for Volante and 0% for Latifa. So if you try to shoot on Latifa, you'll probably take him down. But Latifa does have the 1.3 submissions per fight compared to 0 for Volante. So, you know, this could be a very entertaining matchup. Uh, expect bombs to go off in the first round. Uh, second round, that doesn't work. I expect a wrestling match and... Uh, I'm going to go with Latifa. I don't know why. I mean, he's got really crappy wrestling. And just looking at it, you want to go with Volante. But I just think Latifa... He's going to do some crazy stuff on the ground. And I think he'll get the submission. Second round, we'll move along. Corey Anderson, Tom Lawler. 8-1 uh, record for Corey Anderson. 10-5 and five record for Tom Lawler. Average 5 time for Lawler, 8.15. 12.04 for Anderson. 3-inch height advantage for Anderson. He's also got a 5-inch reach advantage. And he's approximately 6 years younger than Tom Lawler. Uh, so yeah, Anderson's using 5.37 significant strikes per fight compared to 2.58 for Lawler. Striking accuracy about even. Strikes were about even. Defense almost even. Takedowns, uh, Corey Anderson's getting 4.73 compared to 2.73 for Tom Lawler. Takedown accuracy favors Anderson. Takedown defense pretty much even. And of course Lawler, 1.6 submissions per 15 minute fight compared to zero for Anderson. Uh, Beeston 25-8 versus Filthy. I'm going to go with Beeston. I, I'm trying to figure out how he's going to win this fight. I mean, Tom Lawler is one of my favorite fighters. He's just really goofy and uh, just a complete mockery of everything great about MMA. But that said, um, I don't know. I just got a feeling. I think uh, this uh, Anderson guy is more complete. I think he wins late second round stoppage. So if you like finishes, there are going to be lots of finishes here. All right, and our curtain jerker for the main card, uh, Amanda Nunez taking on Valentino Shevchenko. 12-1 uh, record for Valentina. Amanda Nunez 11-4. Average five time for Nunez, 4.37. 15 minutes for Valentina. So you can tell who's striking and who's not. Um, Two-inch reach advantage for Nunez. Also has a three-inch height advantage. Or the doctor's southpaw, southpaw Valentina. And these guys are, wow, they're like two months apart. So age not a factor. 4.17 strike land per minute for Nunez, 2.13 for Valentina. Striking accuracy favors Valentina. Strikes absorbed per minute, Amanda Nunez eating 3.43 per fight compared to 1.8 for Valentina. Uh, defense about average, takedowns 4 per fight for Valentina, 2.32 for Nunez. Takedown accuracy even, takedown defense about even. Submission is not really a factor in this fight. Um, it looks like Shevchenko or Shevchenko, whatever you want to call it, seems to be the more technical fighter. She seems smarter, but Nunez likes to bang. And I like people who are just relentless. And if someone has an average fight time of 3.56, they're looking for a finish. And I think in this one, she's going to swing like a wild gorilla. Uh, oh, did you hear about the Brazil, the, the chimpanzee in Brazil that got drunk in a bar and he got a knife started chasing people? That actually happened. It's a real story. You can look it up. But anyway, that's going to be Nunez in this fight. She's going to fight like a drunken chimpanzee with a knife. And she if I gets lucky on a wild striking or a rampage. And uh, she knocks out Valentina. First round. All right, the rest of the show. Uh, just going by very quickly. Uh, just off the cuff picks. Uh, Brandon Thatch against CR Batter Zuda. I'm going to go with Thatch. Uh, Eric, Silver over, uh, Eric Silva over uh, Nordine Talib. 
I'm going to go with uh, Marcel Guimaraes over Vitor Miranda. Uh, I'm going to take uh, Chas Skelly over Darren Elkins. Boy, talk about a senior matchup. we got Diego Sanchez taking on Jim Miller so low on the card. Both these guys are like lightweight contenders at one point. Uh, don't really care, but I'm going to go with Sanchez's decision. Uh, i got Jason Justin uh, Jason Sago taking out Justin Salas. And I'm going to go with Julian Rosa over Taruto Ishihari because Japanese dudes really don't really fare that well in the UFC, as we've seen from the fate of Takanori Gomi and uh, Akiyama. All right, so those are my picks. should be very, very exciting. Lots of knockouts. But at the end of the day, it's going to be pretty one-sided. But you know what? It's probably worth watching anyway. All right, so that's McGregor versus Diaz. I'll see you at the cage. All right, good fight. Good night.